Yeah. Please fill me with the Ruach HaKodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yah, pay careful attention and respond. Yahweh is our power and authority. yud heh vav -Hey works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yahweh with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Psalm, Psalms 41 through 45. For the leader, a Psalm of David. How blessed are those who care for the poor. When calamity comes, yud heh vav -Hey will save them. Yahweh will preserve them. Keep them alive. Make them happy in the land. You will not hand them over to the whims of their enemies. Yet Hevav -Hey sustains them on their sickbed. When they lie ill, you make them recover. I said, Yahava, have pity on me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies say the worst about me. When will he die and his name disappear? When they come to see me, they speak insincerely, their hearts meanwhile gathering falsehoods. Then they go out and spread bad reports. All who hate me whisper together against me, imagining the worst about me. A fatal disease has attached itself to him. Now that he lies ill, he will never get up. Even my close friends, on whom I relied, who shared my table, has turned against me. But you... Yud -Hey -Vav -Hey, have pity on me. Put me on my feet so I can pay them back. I will know you are pleased with me if my enemy doesn't defeat me. You uphold me because of my innocence. You establish me in your presence forever. Blessed be Yud -Hey -Vav -Hey, the God of Israel from eternity past to eternity future. Amen. Amen. Book 2. For the leader, a maskil of the descendants of Korach. Just as a deer longs for running streams, God, I long for you. I am thirsty for God, for the living God. When can I come and appear before God? My tears are my food, day and night. While all day people ask me, where is your God? I recall, as my feelings well up within me, how I'd, how I'd go with a crowd to the house of God. With sounds of joy and praise from the throngs, observing the festival, my soul, why are you so downcast? Why are you groaning inside me? Hope in God, since I will praise him again for salvation that comes from his presence, my God. When I feel so downcast, I remind myself of you, from the land of Yarden, from the peaks of Hermon, from the hill Mizar, deep is calling to deep. At the thunder of your waterfalls, all your surging rapids and waves are sweeping over me. By day, Yahava commands his grace, and at night his song is with me, as a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about mourning, under pressure by the enemy? My adversaries taunt me, taunts me. My adversary taunt, my adversaries taunts, make me feel as if my bones were crushed. As they ask me all day long, where is your God? My soul, why are you so downcast? Why are you groaning inside me? Hope in God, since I will praise him again for being my Savior and God. Judge me, God, and plead my cause against the faithless nation. Rescue me from those who devise, from those who are unjust. For you are the God of my strength. Why have you thrust me inside? Why must I go about mourning under pressure by the enemy? Send out your light and your truth. Let them be my guide. Let them lead me to your holy mountain, to the places where you live. 
Then I will go to the altar of God, to God, my joy and delight. I will praise you on the lyre, God, my God. My soul, why are you so downcast? Why are you groaning inside me? Hope in God, since I will praise him again for being my Savior and God. For the leader, by the descendants of Korah, a mesquil, God. We heard it with our ears. Our fathers told us about it, a deed which you did in their days, back in the days of old. With your hand you drove out nations to plant them in the land. You crushed peoples to make room for them, for not by their own sword did they conquer the land, nor did their own arm give them victory. Rather, it was your right hand, your arm and your light of your face, because you favored them. God, you are my king. Command complete victory for Yaakov. Through you we pushed, our, pushed away our foes. Through your name we trampled down our assailants. For I don't rely on my bow, nor can my sword give me victory. No, you saved us from our adversaries. You put to shame those who hate us. We will boast in our God all day and give thanks to your name forever. Selah. Yet now you have thrust us inside and disgraced us. You don't march out with our, with our armies. You make us retreat from the adversary. And those who hate us plunder us at will. You have handed us over like sheep to be eaten and scattered us among the nations. You sell your peoples for a pittance. You don't even profit on the sale. You make us an object for our neighbors to mock, one of scorn and derision to those around us. You make us a byword among the nations. The peoples jeer at us, shaking their heads. All day long my disgrace is on my mind, and shame has covered my face. At the sound of those who revile and insult, at the sight of the enemy bent on revenge, through all this came on us, we did not forget you. We have not been false to your covenant. Our hearts have not turned back, and our steps did not turn away from your path. Though you pressed us into a layer of jackals, covered us with death, death dark gloom, if we had forgotten the name of our God or spread out our hands to a foreign God, wouldn't God have discovered this since he knows the secrets of the heart? For your sake, we are put to death all day long. We are considered sheep to be slaughtered. Wake up, yod hey vav hey. Why are you asleep? Rouse yourself. Don't thrust us off forever. Why are you turning your face away, forgetting our pain and misery? For we are lying flat in the dust. Our bodies cling to the ground. Get up and come help us. For the sake of your grace, redeem us. For the leader set to lilies by the descendants of Korah, a masquil, a love song. My heart stirred by a noble theme. I address my verses to the king. My tongue is the pen of an expert scribe. You are the most handsome of men. Gracious speech flows from your lips. For God has blessed you forever. Warrior, strap your sword on your thigh. Gird on. Your splendor and majesty, in your majesty succeed right on. In the cause of truth, meekness, and righteousness, may your right hand teach you awesome things. Your arrows are sharp, your people fall under you. As they penetrate the hearts of the king's enemies, your throne, God, will last forever and ever. Your rule, your kingdom with the scepter of equity. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of joy in preference to your companions. Your robes are all fragrant with myrrh, owls, and cassia. From ivory palaces, stringed instruments bring you joy. Daughters of kings are among your favorites. At your right stands queen in gold from Ophir. Listen, daughter, think. Pay attention. Forget your own people in your father's house, and the king will desire your beauty, for he is your lord, 
so honor him. Then the daughter of Zor, the richest of peoples, will court your favor with gifts. Inside the palace, the king's daughter looks splendid, attired in checkered work embroidered with gold. In bare brocade, she will be led to the king, to you, with the virgins in her retinue. They will be led with gladness and joy. They will enter the king's palace. You will have sons to succeed your ancestors. You will make them princes in all the land. I will make your name known through all generations. Thus the peoples will praise you forever and ever. End with the Arianic blessing. yud heh vav He will kneel before you presenting gifts. He will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yahweh will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards your bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yahweh will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Amen. Shabbat Shalom.